episode from 17 once again. This is my Last of Us Grounded difficulty. This is the final part of Pittsburgh. And it should really be called Let's Watch Chris Waste Molotovs. Because once again, uh, I end up trying a, a different strategy on this area, and it worked. And this game has this funny ability of checkpointing when you don't want it to, so in order to go back I would have had to select it from the chapter select and play a little more of the game to do it again. If I was really into ammo preservation and using everything properly, I would have probably done that. But I like to think that my guides have uh, an honest quality to them, where I don't hide my mistakes, and my mistakes empower me in some ways so that I can show you them so that you don't make them. And this is another one of those moments where they're going to be very abundant, because once you take out the guys in this area, you have to turn a generator on, and the generator spawns a dozen more guys. It's one of those moments where I really dislike uh, how the gameplay works in, in The Last of Us, because they build it like you can get through it sneakily, and you never can. And the only thing left to do then is to either kill all the dudes individually, or figure out where they spawn and try and maybe multi-kill them. So what I tried to do is I tried to throw a, a Molotov to set the, on fire near where the steps were. And it kind of worked, it didn't do so well, and then as that happened, I saw the spawn take place, and I saw the spot where the spawn was, so I decided to throw another one to kill um, the people as they were spawning in hopes of getting rid of everyone, and I was a little bit too late, slash the throw wasn't great, and I ended up using two Molotovs and not really getting the bang for my buck. Which is a shame and I should have probably restarted, but I didn't. I rocked with it, I continued onwards, and I managed it. And I, I think that's a mentality that is good to have in any game, because even when shit hits the fan, even when things don't go as planned, even when you really wish you could just do it over, sometimes persevering is the best way to, to do any of it. It just this, this area looks designed for us to get through it without commotion. And if you're wondering why I did that, I was trying to get somebody to come down, you know, to ex explore the noise, maybe divide and conquer so I can kill them. And it just doesn't really work that way. It j <laughs> I don't understand it either. Like, if they really wanted it to be a big firefight here, why not just have everybody on watch and have it all go from the start instead of this... This almost arbitrary, you made noise, here's another five dudes. You know, it's like Metal Gear Solid. As soon as somebody knows you're there, there's just those armoured fellas. But there you go. You see the spawn then? That guy on the corner? There's another one. That's the spawn point. So I think if I toss it here, I can capitalise on them moving forward. But they don't move. So I only end up getting one or two. And it turns out to be a terrible throw. And everybody else survives, so... Learn from what you just saw there, folks. Try to use it closer to where they drop down, and maybe you'll be able to get at least three or four people, and then you don't have to do what follows here. But I think a better strategy might have been to shoot the guy on the light, and then toss a, gr a, a Molotov where they were dropping down, and hopefully you would have killed a shit ton of them. But instead, we get this. So I'm going to play Ring Around the Roses with this piece of concrete, and I'm going to take him out. However, I get cock blocked by, you know, Sam's brother, because I can't remember what his name is. And it puts me in a bit of a spot while I choke that guy out. But luckily enough, there's only two of them left. So, I make a new Molotov. Makes me feel a little better for wasting the others. I'm not going to hopefully use it. I just like to have them. And then this guy starts coming over here, because we all know the AI is clairvoyant. And... Oh no, he's going a different place. That's cool. Oh no, this guy's coming instead. And they're both, you notice how they're both converging? That's how it seems to play out. And when Naughty Dog said that their AI was going to be tweaked so that it'd be smarter and, and things like that, I didn't think it, it would mean this. I, th I actually thought it was going to result in some really, truly interesting and unique things. And it turns out they're just, they like to hold hands is all. And then there's the whole... I think he might be near here. I'm gonna go over here. Hmm. That was a loud takedown, but it's cool because I've got a brick and there's only one guy left. That's what happens when you take people down from in front. It's a dangerous method, but it works. So now we're waiting for this dude to get 
lucky. So come on, punk. Are you feeling lucky? You'll notice too, the AI is quite patient when they want to be at sitting behind cover. It's not quite as bad as the old Gears of Wars, where they used to just sit there for weeks. But it's up there. And boom. He runs out of patience. We do the old car trick. I remember at this moment I was a little bit irked by him getting in my way all the time. Not a big fan of clipping on your companions. It winds me up. And to Naughty Dog's credit, they did a really good job with that stuff. But it still bugs me. Like, I don't know if you've seen an example of this yet, but... The AI companions can push the path of the enemies. We did it. Like, I had this amazing moment in the sewers where a stalker got pushed by Sam, the little kid, and it, he pushed her so much that she turned around and looked at me. And she never did that in all the times I was using that hiding spot, like six or seven times before that. It was just dumb. But as you can imagine, I thought that would work a little bit better than it did. It didn't. It's cool. Because... It alerts some people to run this way, and then we can get happy at throwing stuff at them and punching them down. The cool thing is a lot of these people are melee focused, so the melee guys have to be close to hurt you. It's the gun guys you want to worry about, and the gun guys... That, I mean, he's a coward, he ran away. This guy wants to fight, so we can throw our brick at him, and we can finish him off. And you'd be surprised at how much cover you get from this bar. So here comes the next fella. Make sure you grab something to toss it in. There's a bottle. He just shot at Ellie then. What a dick. So I think how this works is when you're aggressive and the AI is, is attacking or is in an attacking stance that the, the enemies can see them and attack them but it doesn't really make much difference because they can't die that way. They have to be grabbed. When you're in a stealth moment where it hasn't kicked off your companion cannot get you in trouble, aside from the aforementioned pushing paths and getting in the way. I, I had a really angry comment from somebody who was mad at the game in the sewer because the little kid kept alerting the, the infected when he was trying to stealth through it. So I, I kind of tried to say to the guy in the best way I could that the player is the only person who can aggro the enemies when you're not in combat. So when they're kicking off, it's it's not the kid, even though the kid's stood up and running around like an idiot, and it looks like it's the kid. It's just the AI on the stalkers is super sensitive, and it's an area that very few people know how to stealth, because it's not your first instinct when you see that enemy, and those enemies are very, very observant for the most. And I know where that feeling comes from. He's just a little bit frustrated with the game. It's just, that's the kind of information that you know, gets put on wikis and then people start contradicting stuff with lies and misinformation. And I, I try to st stamp down on it as much as I can. And some people get a little bit offended when you stamp down on them, which just can't be helped. If you're touchy and you're on the internet, it's really not the place you should be. You know, you've got to either grow a spine or some balls, because not everything that everybody says to you is intended to insult you or... You know, it's not meant to be combative. Some things are just said matter-of-factly and people need to get over it. But this bit here is is one of those moments, if you're going for a no-damage run and you get hit by this truck, it's really frustrating. <laughs> Which is why this, this playthrough, or this walkthrough, sorry, is, is a lot more fun because I'm not having those no-damage stipulations. Because we're no longer in July. We're in August now. And August is not no damage month. August is just back to playing games, having fun, and building the empire. Thank you very much for watching, and you take care now.